Welcome back. We are now going to get started on session two for fifth grade. By now, the books have been on the hands of kids for several weeks. You have already done session one a week ago, and this is the part where we are going to do the actual science experiment, which is a pretty simple one uh, and, and a very interesting one for that matter. If you may remember, we're going to very quickly remind the class about what the story is about. There is a kid called Hikaru. He's in a town in Japan. His local toy store has fallen under hard times and he wants to help them. He uses the principles of magnetic levitation and the engineering design process to create his own maglev system. To remind everybody, what is the engineering design process? It starts with asking what the problem is, brainstorming solutions, planning and creating a prototype, and finally asking if the prototype is good enough to address the problem that you identified and if it is not, continuously improve it and cycle through the process. And now class, we are all going to have the opportunity to be engineers and design our own maglev system. Couple quick things to remember before we get going. And at this point, the STEM2 volunteers will each have a kit. The kit will have a cardboard box. The kit will have a large rectangular cardboard piece which will be used as the track and a square uh, foam piece which will be used as a train or a vehicle. We're gonna remind everybody that if the train sticks to the track, not much is going to happen. So you can give a little bit of a hint if you want by saying, look, we're going to tape some magnets to the long piece, which we're going to call the track. And we're going to tape some magnets to the square piece, which is the vehicle. And make sure that the square piece or the vehicle does not stick to the track. Let's start from there. And once you are able to do that, then you can start putting a paper cup, which will be in your kit. And the paper cup could carry a couple of nickels, it could carry some marbles, it could carry heavier objects. And you're gonna put that, and those are the passengers. And we're gonna say the goal is to levitate the train or the vehicle, which is the square piece, on top of the track or the long piece. And if you use your finger to gently nudge the square piece along the track, the cup with the marbles or the cup with the nickels, which represents the train with the passengers, should stay stable and not tip over and spill all the passengers. And that would be the goal. Remind everybody that they should feel free to tape the magnets work with the entire team and the system in the box should be the starting point there really aren't going to be more instructions so this is fifth grade after all kids are going to junior high or middle school after this they should be able to figure it out and remind them that there is the smaller and bigger piece and the cup and the weights and the three goals that the kids need to be able to do is get the vehicle to float, push the vehicle along the track, and not spill the coins on top. We're going to give everybody 15, 20 minutes, whatever the appropriate amount of time is. Each team will report the results of their experiment. They would have elected a spokesperson. And the questions we will discuss would be, were you able to get the vehicle to levitate? How many weights were you able to transport? Did the train reach the other end of the track without spilling the passengers? What worked well? What did not work well? If you had more time, what would you have done different? It's a very uh, interesting little experiment and I think uh, the, the kids will learn a lot. If you have any questions, feel free to reach me. Otherwise, thank you for volunteering and have a wonderful day.